I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. We will start with our pledge, and Commissioner Davis, if you'll do our prayer. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you for the many blessings you've given us. We ask, dear Lord, that you watch over us tonight, let us make wise decisions that will further our community in a better way. We ask you, God, lead and direct us, and all we say and do, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Welcome, everybody, out tonight. Uh, I know. All over the place. I feel like I've moved. I don't know. Somebody's moved these. Well, it may have been me when we had the baby shower. Oh, okay. I'm just off, I'm off kilter. Off I'm like, mm. Okay. First item is approval of the minutes. Make a motion. Second. We have a motion and second. Further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item, uh, bills. Make a motion we pay the bills. I'll second it. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. And that motion passes. Okay, first items in the new business is water main from East 8th to East 10th. Yes, uh, bigger staff call today. Actually, it was drill board. State has approved the plans as of today. Uh, I, had, I told them to go and proceed to get a bid spec put together, and hopefully we'll have that here for next month's meeting to uh, start advertising. Okay. okay, so we don't need to... No, like, well, I mean, we need to review, make sure everything approved. is... What, did they send you some? I thought they sent the bid documents today. Was that not in the email? Uh, well, ben, I haven't looked at my email. Came from Terry Humphreys. No, that's 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 from Frankfurt. Approving it. Bigger step forward. They sent me a bunch of stuff. Yes, please find and close for bid process. If you have any questions, call. Okay, there's the letter, I think, where the state has approved it. Put the map. It's got drawings. Uh, if it's got the drawings and all the language is all we need, we can go ahead and proceed to bid out then. I'd like to go ahead and, and get that in full motion. Maybe provided that this, okay. make the motion, go ahead and advertise provided this, all these documents are correct. Is that okay? Yes. Yep. So moved. And second. That way, just save us a month because we've been long enough on this one. Yeah, it's been a long time. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Opposed, same. Passes. Next item is the uh, fire station generator bid. This is when we got the FEMA grant on that David and them were working on. We had three bidders, uh, Taylor TE here local was $22,479. H&E uh, Electric also here local was $33,450. And then bid three is Canton Electrical Services out of Henderson at $13,500. Wow, that's a big difference in prices. And we have been going over. The, Grad is, of course, administering this this grant for us, so they've been working on the documents and everything. And that's what we've been back and forth for the last month. And and they said Canton is a large, reputable contractor. Does this stuff day in and day out every day. And that just seems like such an odd know. read. Uh, bids. Did they miss something, or do you think they? Get there. He says they, uh, Blake's. Is that with the purchase of the generator? They're not. That's, every, that's installed. Because scope of work is to provide and install a fixed 25 kW natural gas generator and automatic transfer switch. Install electrical and natural gas connections as needed. Install a concrete pad for the generator equal to or higher than the building foundation to ensure it's out of the floodplain. Install bollards to protect from theft and damage vehicle and provide all required permits. Wow. Just seems so odd that they have that. Well, that's why I didn't bring this last month because you want to make sure it was, was a big difference. And 
I say Grad's gone over with the fine tooth comb. I guess we, I make a motion we accept Canton's bid. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor say five aye. Oh, same. That motion passes. Next item, we'll open the floor because I'm sure you probably would like to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Uh, appreciate y'all taking taking I'm time out of your night to hang out with me just for a few minutes. I've uh, got some slides here. Um, my name is Matt Fover. Um, uh, work with ICT. We're just in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Took me all of about 40 minutes to drive here, just down the road. Uh, we do IT and cybersecurity. Uh, we also have our own data center uh, that's in Bowling Green. Uh, so, like if, uh, if you guys sign up with services, all of your backups would be in our secure site in Bowling Green. Uh, we built it a couple of years ago when COVID first hit, and uh, we made it tornado proof. And we were able to prove that when the tornadoes hit Bowling Green, uh, we were fine. Um, it hit all the infrastructure all the way around us, um, but we've got redundant generators. We we're the only one on the block that had power. Um, so I hated that it happened, but I love it that we made the investment and to see it pay off was pretty amazing. Uh, this is my leadership team here. So there's me. I've been with the company uh, since December of 2011. Uh, Nicole Jewell, she's kind of our operations. Uh, she keeps everybody in line, including myself. Uh, she does our dispatch as well. She's been there a little bit before me. The president and owner of the company, his name is David Matlow. He started the company in February 2001. Uh, he was still going to Western at that point. Um, and uh, then just one of our techs, uh, his name is Will Baker. He's been with us uh, since 2017. Uh, we have a total of 12 full-time staff members. Uh, we're all, we're, we all go to the same office. We're all in Bowling Green. Uh, there's a lot of IT providers. You call them and they'll just route you to somebody in India or you know overseas somewhere. Uh, we are Kentucky-based. Uh, we're just like you guys. Um, and so that, that usually goes a long way. Um, I'm here to tell you that Kentucky is under attack. Uh, I'm sure you've seen on the news of ransomware events. Do you guys have you guys heard of the term ransomware before? Basically, bad guys get into your system, they encrypt all of your files, and they say, "Hey, you pay us some big bucks, and you can have your files back." Uh, and even if uh, what they're doing is not only are they restricting your access to those files, but they have stolen your files as well. And so if you don't pay that ransom, then they're gonna release all those credit card numbers, all those addresses, all those social security numbers, unless you pay up. Uh, these are all major attacks that have happened within the last year or so here in Kentucky. Uh, some of these made the news, some of them didn't. Uh, and I can tell you that there's a bunch more attacks that I know about uh, that have happened here in Kentucky, happens Every month, uh, we get we get a new call in just about. Uh, Bardstown Connect, that is the internet provider for Bardstown. Uh, so someone who should have been you know on top of their game, uh, they got attacked, they got breached. Uh, Orthopedic Institute of Western Kentucky, they lost all their health records. Uh, the city of Frankfurt got hit. I'm pretty sure that that did not make the news. They did a decent job of keeping that hush-hush, but uh, it was pretty bad. They lost a lot. Uh, the biggest one, though, Taylor Regional Hospital, um, that was something like 10,000 medical records uh, were stolen. Um, it's, it's terrible, it's pathetic, and it's really, really, really hard to stop these guys. Um, IT and cybersecurity, that used to be the same person, you'd have an IT guy, right? They would take care of your stuff, right? Uh, well now, since, like there's a, a good example is there was a manufacturing plant in Kentucky, in, in Bowling Green, they got hit over the summer from the country of Iran. Uh, the, the country of Iran was a state-sponsored attack, hit this manufacturing company, and wanted them to pay millions of dollars in ransom. And we had to come in there and clean up the mess. They weren't a client at the time. They didn't have 
you know, they knew who we were, but we didn't provide services with them. Uh, but we helped them clean it up. Uh, they didn't pay the ransom. We were able to restore everything back, get them up and going in about a week. Uh, but every month we get a call of somebody has been hurt, uh, a community has been damaged, trust has been broken, uh, and so we go in there and we clean up. But what I want to do for you guys is be more preventative. Uh, I want to be able to provide you guys with the simple IT support of, hey, you pick up the phone, hey, I can't print, you know, my printer's being stupid, or I don't know my password, to the high level stuff of, we're going to keep you safe, keep you secure. Uh, so here's some of the things that we can do for you guys. Uh, we have a platform that does an amazing job of preventing ransomware. Uh, we haven't had any attacks at our company ever. Uh, we are a clean slate. Uh, the last time a client of ours had a ransomware attack was in the middle of 2018. They were out of Georgia and they didn't even have our complete tool set. They just, there was just a couple of things that we did, mostly about their phone system. Uh, they got ransomed, they lost everything, and uh, so then we moved all their data into our data center, and they've been perfect ever since. Uh, but we'll do your network security, uh, we'll do your email security, uh, zero trust, that's kind of a buzzword in the cyber security field, really what that means is we don't allow anything to run on your system unless we allow it. So if it's if uh, a virus, malware, something bad comes through that our system has never seen before, and it could be something good. Uh, you know, you, uh, you, you download something legitimate online. Our system will not allow it to run unless we approve it. And we'll go through there, we'll, when we onboard you guys, we scan your network, you, you go out through your day, and we archive everything that you guys are doing, make a note of that, update the policies to where you know your billing software keeps working, for example, and it's not affected. Um, so then we lock it down after about a week or two, and then if it's something our system has never seen before, it does not allow it to run. We have a reliable backup and disaster recovery. It's really, really, really easy to sell a backup system, uh, but no one ever talks about the recovery time of that. Uh, we had another, uh, now a client, uh, they lost a whole bunch of data. It took them a month to get everything back. Uh, so our backup system is all about the fast recovery time. Everything goes to our data center where we have it. Uh, you wouldn't be, let's say this whole building burned to the ground. We would have all of your data in our data center, and we would be able to have that data ready for you guys before you would even be ready to use it. Um, so our, our response time on the backups, we, we take great pride in. Uh, we'll also assist with your cybersecurity insurance. You guys will probably have the package from KLC. Uh, I actually have a meeting in about a month, I think, with KLC leadership to go over their cybersecurity insurance. Uh, they've got a company that is helping them that is out of South Carolina. Uh, so I went to the president of the KLC. I was like, hey, man, we've we're, we got some good old Kentucky boys that can help out with this. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to meet with them and, and get that going. Uh, and we also, last, uh, we want to deliver best-in-class service and support. We want to be able to be that IT guy down the hall on the phone where you can just call us, pick up the phone. We, you, we can help you. You can email us, um, and then once I've got uh, all of your agents installed on our machines, you can actually open up a ticket just from your computer. Uh, super, super easy stuff. Uh, we take great pride in our response rate. Uh, on average, we respond to a ticket within seven minutes, and then the ticket is resolved within 15 minutes. Uh, we take great pride in that. Uh, our technical staff is about six, seven people full-time. Uh, and we're available 24-7. Uh, so what I've got laid out for you guys, this is basically phase one. Uh, there's some other things that we could certainly do down the road, but uh, I was in here a month or two ago, did an assessment, and so this is basically to fill the biggest holes that you guys have, the biggest concerns that you guys have, uh, to get you up, up and stuff on your insurance. That's, what we're, that's where we want to start. So we'll provide the IT service. Uh, we're actually going to replace all of your network equipment. 
in, in this building, and that'll cover the, the city and the police uh, as well, just basically everything in this building network-wise. Uh, that will allow us to set up our security tool set and the alerts. Uh, we'll do the hardening of all your desktops and laptops, server as well, uh, to make sure everything is locked down and secure. Uh, we want to implement an Office 365 email system. Uh, I know that she's got a bellsouth.net address, so I would love to streamline, every, yeah. streamline everyone's email. I'm sure you guys have a website, right? Do you have a website? A one, but... Okay, well, you can still use that dom domain name. So, We've got a domain name. Yeah, so we can use that domain name, get you some awesome email addresses. Uh, that'll look a lot more professional. Uh, but then there's also a lot of security tools that come with that. Um, and then we're also able to implement our backups. We'll back up all of your email accounts. That'll go to our data center. We'll back up your server. That'll go to our data center. And if you want to add, I didn't put it on here, but if there was some critical computers, laptops, and we can take just backups of those machines as well. So let's say you got... Um, you got a police officer that got a machine in their car. We can do backups of those daily. That laptop gets destroyed, no big deal. We've got all the data in our data center. We can reload the image on a new laptop. We'll show up with a new laptop already ready to go. Um, so here's the pricing of it here. Um, this is there's a couple of pages to this. Uh, so if we just go by this on line item by line item, uh, the top three line items is for the network equipment that will, will rip out all of your old stuff. You got an old switch, you got old wireless access points in here, you got an old router, we'll rip all that out and we'll put in all new equipment. This is inter enterprise grade equipment um, and this also allows us to implement our network security tool set. Uh, this allows us to uh, put in the alerts and everything that would phone home to our data center. So it's something as simple as your power goes out, your internet goes out. We'll get an alert for that. Uh, we'll probably know that there's a problem before you guys do. Uh, we can work with you know your internet provider. You know if there's a problem on their end, uh, or you know bigger issues. Of, oh, I've got a security alert. Um, you know some someone's laptop is infected and is trying to phone home you know to China or whatever. Uh, we can see all that traffic happening, and so we can we can harden that. Um, the fourth line item down, so this is in the quantity section, it says quantity 16. Uh, so this is basically, uh, when I was here doing the assessment, you guys had about 16 computers, laptops, all of that. Uh, sometimes those numbers can be off a little bit, but we can just adjust that if we were, you know, kind of too many or not enough, we can adjust that. Um, and so that's, that's really the support. Uh, that's our Zero Trust platform. Uh, that's VPN clients uh, with 2FA. Uh, that's your asset management. We do Windows updates, which is always a pain. I'm sure you came in on a Monday morning, you turned your computer on, and oh look, it wants to do 30 minutes of updates. Uh, we schedule all that out to where that doesn't <coughs> interrupt you guys. Uh, and we can even, you know, if you got 24-7 patrol, you know, we can schedule around that uh, and make sure it interrupts you guys as least amount possible. Uh, the next line item is your Office 365. So this is your email, this is your Office apps, uh, this is 2FA, this is email encryption, and again, the quantity 16. Uh, we can adjust that if we got the numbers wrong a little bit, uh, but that is all that. Uh, next page, the top, uh, this is your two backup items. Uh, so again, quantity 16, this is, allows backup to go to our data center. Uh, we'll do nightly backup. We usually schedule those like at five or six, but you know, we can change that. Uh, and then there's a 90 day retention on that. So I can basically go back in time up to 90 days. You accidentally delete something is what usually happens. You delete a folder out of your Outlook we can go back in time and restore it. Uh, then the last item there, that is an agent backup on your server. Uh, so that'll have a 30-day backup retention. And again, it'll go up uh, to our data center uh, in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Um, and so the, there's a monthly subtotal. Uh, so that's the subtotal for our monthly services. 
Uh, that is way cheaper than what you could hire an IT guy for, uh, and this comes with all new equipment as far as your network goes. Uh, so there's actually a lot of benefit uh, in that monthly service. And then the bottom line there, that is just the one-time implementation fee. That's just, you just pay it the one time, to, that, and that allows me to pay my guys to come in here and, you know, we're going to rip out all your network, put all new stuff in, all the labor to get everything set up, put in the security measures, program the alerts, set up all your backups, set up your Office 365 tenants, your email accounts, and everything. It's just setting everything up. Um, this is for a 36-month uh, term. Uh, all of our contracts are 36 months, and we have typical contract like you would have uh, if you buy a cell phone. Uh, there's nothing crazy or nothing surprises there. Um, this is timeline. Uh, so this is just a quick overview of how it would look like. Like today I'm doing the presentation. Uh, if you guys agree, we would order everything. Once we get all, everything in our office, which honestly we probably already have everything in stock because we keep so many spares. We would schedule the on-site install, and we're super flexible uh, of when that would happen. So we don't we don't want to impact you guys. You know, y'all are city government. You're you're making things happen for this nice community. So we'll we'll do everything, schedule everything around where it's most convenient for you guys. Uh, and so we'll we'll go we'll come on site. We'll do the install. Uh, we'll send a couple of texts up here to knock everything out, and then. About a week or two after everything is, is installed, the dust is settled, any kind of bugs we got worked out, uh, I'll, I would love to come up here uh, and meet with you guys again, make sure everything is right, make sure we didn't overlook anything. If you've got any feedback, good or bad, uh, we would love, love, love uh, to have that. Uh, phase two, if everything goes good, I would definitely recommend a new server. You guys just pretty much have like a really old desktop computer, it's working really hard in there. Uh, we can also provide end-user cybersecurity training. Uh, we can do some, some cool things with that, some training with that. Uh, we also provide phone systems. Uh, so we can provide phones, dial tone, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we have some really cool things to where your desk phone is linked up with an app on your cell phone. And so even if you're not here, um, you can still get calls like you're in the office. Uh, that is really, really, really helpful with police. Uh, they all have that um, with our other clients, and that's that's been a lifesaver for a bunch of them. Uh, then you do have some old, you know, computers and laptops uh, that we can rotate out. Usually, we do like, you know, we schedule something out to where you do, you know, four a year or ten a year, you know, whatever your your budget is. We can get you on a rotation and get everything going. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, Again, I appreciate y'all's time. This is a paper copy of the quote as well. Uh, and so, are there any questions? I know that was a little bit fast, uh, but I don't want to keep anybody up past their bedtime. I do have, do you have backup besides just what's in Bowling Green? Yes, yes. Uh, we do have another site in Bowling Green. It's on the other side of town. Force case. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, we're, we're good. Uh, our, our backups have backups, and then those backups have backups. <laughs> okay. um, this is a little different. What, you're talking about the computers will be tiny directly. Uh, what I've got a laptop. Sure. Say I want to have a, I call it a screen. I've got them in my other place of work. We've got a system similar to this. Mm -hmm. And I've got a screen. I sit at home and log on to my computer at work. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got my desktop, and I've got all my files and stuff here, and email and all that kind of stuff. Yep. And then there's 12 of us out there, I guess, and we all 12 have our separate mm -hmm. one. I can't get anybody else's unless I have the Correct. passwords, yes. which I, I do most of them. <laughs> uh, but yes. then we have one file, we call it the S drive, mm -hmm. that everybody shares. Mm -hmm. So right now, you basically have that share on that server that's here. Um, you definitely have some options to, we could take that server out, move everything into Bowling Green in our data center, and you would just VPN in. Um, sometimes, it really depends on what applications that you're using. Some applications support it, some don't. Uh, we, that would be like a, a separate assessment that I would do to see if, you know, okay, can we move the server to our data center, yes or no? And then let's say the answer is no, let's say we can't move it. I can still provide you guys with remote access to it, um, and you know we could, you know, 
like uh, the, the city would have their separate and then the police would be segregated off that and they would have their own little share if they needed it. Uh, that, that's really the easy part. Um, that, that's no big deal at all, but that, that's something that I would recommend kind of to assess in phase two uh, because the, the biggest holes that you guys have is the security. Like it's, it's non-existent. Oh, wow. I mean, you just, you just don't have anything. So I kind of like to put up the fence, you know, put up the walls, and then we can work on the inside is how I usually go about things. Uh, but yeah, we can certainly do remote access, whether that's remote access to here or remote access to our data center. Well, I guess he's getting to the point where, like, Commissioner, if has a, a tab or something, he can have his agenda and everything before we ever got here. Yeah. 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 And pull up. But then they could even have access to uh, some of the Office 360. Yeah. And, so and that's, that's the thing, too. Your, your, your office. Include, like, all your, your Excel and your. Yeah. It Excel includes all the apps. Also. And you guys really, you could, it comes with OneDrive. Uh, so y'all could use that if you wanted to, uh, and then you wouldn't have to worry about a server at all, whether it's here or at my data center. Um, and y'all can share files that way as well. You know, it really just depends on how many files you have, how many people need access, how many different folder shares do you need. Um, that that is not a problem. Well, we have again. I'm just all I'm, and I'm not computer literate at all. Sure. But what we've got out there, like I said, we have the one file that we all share. Because mm -hmm. we keep some stuff on it, if there's some stuff that all of us need access to, a calendar or yeah. you yeah. know, stuff for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then I've got mine where I can get on to our we have a system called Plex that does all our... Yep, I'm, I'm familiar with Plex. I hate Plex. <laughs> a lot of, most people do. <laughs> most people do. Uh, yeah, there's, a, know, there's a manufacturing company yeah. in Bowling Green where we work with these Plex. And, uh, and then I've got... All my own files with the Excel and Word and everything mm -hmm. we can keep that no one else has access to. Yeah, yeah. And what we usually do to segregate, like anything that's on your uh, desktop and documents, is just you. No one else can access it. Uh, but then if you do have like an HR department, you know, we'll have like an HR folder and then just that group has access right, to right. it. But, you know, it, it just, we, we can fit that mold. Uh, that, that's the easy part. Um, the, the server here, it's on its last legs. Um, I was actually surprised it worked at all. I was tinkering around with it when I was doing the assessment uh, before, and it was, uh, yeah, it needs some help. Uh, but we were, uh, in my opinion, we really have to get that fence up first, because uh, you're, you're wild. I didn't realize we had I thought everything was on the individual computer. No, it's all on that little computer by the fax machine. Yeah. That's it's, a, it's a computer about this big. So you all share it off that? Okay, I didn't know we did that. Yeah. And from what I could tell, there wasn't any backups on it or anything. Backups used to be somebody would take one home with them. They're probably still doing that. <laughs> yeah, so all that would be automated. You wouldn't have to worry about rotating drives, people forgetting to take stuff on that. If you're doing it, that ends, that would end immediately. The first thing we would do is put in our backup agent. Get that, get that stuff going. What's the difference on this backup and backing up to the cloud? Well, so basically it is backing up to the cloud. It's just we own the cloud. Uh, so if, let's say, this building did burn down, okay, uh, I can have your data immediately. I would, you know, go into my data center and transfer it over extremely fast, drive someone up here, and here's your data. Where, where, do, you, where do you want to set up shop at? Let's get things set up. It would be immediate. Whereas a lot of other cloud backups, it takes weeks to get that data back. They love taking your money for it, uh, and they never tell you how long it's going to take when you need your stuff. And they're like, oh yeah, you can get it back, no problem, no problem, it's really easy. Yeah, it is really easy, you can just watch it spin for three weeks. Uh, uh, we were able to, so when the tornado hit, a lot of our uh, clients were down. We had one gentleman in particular, he had a... a a meeting at a hotel uh, in Nashville, and he had a he had his PowerPoint. He did he saved his PowerPoint, and our he's got his own servers in our data center. Saved it there. Well, his house didn't have internet. His office didn't have internet. He had access to nothing. Uh, so he called me. He's like, "Hey, I need this PowerPoint. I got to go to Nashville right now." And I'm like, "No problem. I put it on a flash drive." For him. He had it immediately. Uh, so it just gives us a higher level of service. 
uh, that these you know big cloud providers just they just can't do. They can't compete. But if you're on your system right here, if something were to happen right here, mm -hmm. I would still have instant access to it through my laptop, wouldn't it? If it wasn't in this building. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. If, if you if your stuff was you know saved on your laptop locally, yeah, you'd still have access to it. Or if it was in our data center, obviously that would. It would be on the server. Yeah. Yeah. But if you know if you're if you've got a share file that's on the server here, that server you know finally gives up and dies, or you know something happens, a flood, whatever, then those those files would be gone. You'd have to you know hopefully I'd be in there you know giving your your backup back. Right. Well, no, I understand that, but I'm like if we were on a system like this though, mm -hmm. and something happened here, Larry's laptop at his house, mine at my house, Shelby's and Mike's, they could all still access everything. If if your data was in our data center, yes. Yes. Yep. Is that part of the phase one? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we would. So if um, the the phase one piece is your network, it's all those network security tools uh, that will give you VPN access to the server that's here, uh, remote access to that's here. Uh, that would be that comes with the VPN client. Uh, we can get all that set up for you. Um, and so if, if if those files are already on your server, then yes, you would have access to it. That is no problem. What's the cost of phase two per month? Um, it depends. Uh, I would really like to get more in detail of, you know, what kind of applications you have, what can be, you know, if we could move everything to our data center, uh, that's usually cheaper. Um, but uh, if you did need your own server, we would provide the server. We are a partner with HP Enterprise. I'm sure you've heard of HP. Uh, well, about 10 years ago, HP split into two different companies. There's HP and HP Enterprise. HP Enterprise, they make all the servers, all, some networking gear, some other you know, enterprise grade stuff. Uh, so we could, if we need to, we can install a new server here that is actually a server and not just a desktop from Best Buy. Uh, and we would have, you know, redundant hard drives in it, redundant power supplies, a couple of other, you know, cool redundant things. All your data would be on that. It would be fast. It would be reliable. Um, and then again, we would have uh, VPN access to it if you needed it here. Uh, give or take, depending on how much, see that's another thing too, like it really depends on how much storage you need. Um, but it could be anywhere from, you know, 250 bucks a month to 750 bucks a month, you know, give or take. It just it just kind of depends, but we would provide the hardware. That, that's part of that cost, um, and then you know the backups and everything else. But we would love to work with you guys. Um, there's. Uh, there's a lot of IT kind of people here in, in Kentucky. Uh, none of them really have the security piece figured out. Uh, none of them really take responsibility for that. We run into so many times where they're like, well, we had an IT guy and you know we thought we were doing good. And then if an event happens, they're just like, oh, sorry, I guess you gotta pay the ransom. Uh, we take that responsibility. Uh, if, you get, if something did crazy happen, that responsibility is on us. Uh, to, to make it right, to work with your insurance. Uh, we see that process through start to finish. But knock on wood, hadn't, hadn't happened yet to uh, an existing client. It's just we do a lot of cleanup for people who aren't clients. But then they turn into one. <laughs> After the 36 month contract, if we have to go in a different direction, everything that you have with ours goes with us? Uh, so couple different ways to go about that. Let's say you sign up, we put in all of our equipment, 36 months come to an end, you guys say, hey, we don't really like it. Uh, we would remove our network equipment because uh, that's got our proprietary tool set on it, uh, but we would certainly work with, we wouldn't just come in here and rip it out. We would work with your new provider, make sure you don't have any downtime. Uh, make sure that they put in their tool set, that everything is good, and that's very cordial. It's never been a problem. Um, not, never been a problem at all. If you, at the end of 36 months, you guys want to continue with us, uh, you'll get new upgrades, new network equipment, uh, and then you know anything else that you know maybe you've added on or bolted on, 
we can assess that, make sure all that's right as rain, replace everything that needs to be replaced. Uh, the price will probably go up just because prices go up. Um, but you know, you would know all of that uh, before you know getting locked in for another three years. And, you know, I would, I'd basically, I'd come up here and do this all over again. But we do ask for 36 months contracts because we do have a huge investment. We're, we're buying all this network gear. Um, you know, that, that's an upfront cost that you guys just don't have to worry about. Uh, but that allows us to keep the licensing up to date because we have to buy some, some of our stuff is a monthly license that we have to buy, some of it's yearly. Uh, so all the hardware and the license on your network is included. And it just, it just makes things easier. Or it would, it would seem like we're nickel and diamond on licensing every month. Fire station next door was not be hard, no problem connected it in with it, even though it's a separate building. So that is, a, I did an assessment in that. Um, they had a network that was more or less just cameras, uh, and then he had just the one computer. In my opinion, I don't think that's worth a huge investment in your as far as the network go. But what I will do is, if he needs access to the server here. He will have a VPN client, a secure VPN client on his machine that will deploy, and so he can connect in securely and you know access. Just like anything. anybody else would. Yeah, just like just like anybody else. Uh, but I don't think it's worth the investment just for one computer to completely rip out that network gear and put it in there. Uh, that's that's not worth it for you. Uh, we can wrap around our security tools on the agents and the VPN client that we we own install on this machine. Well, what he would need to do then is just any time he comes in to get on a computer, just log on into this. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know the 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 VPN client we use, it's really, really, really easy to use, and you know we'll do training on how to set up everything, how to, how to connect, what your passwords, uh, how to submit a support ticket. We'll go through all that uh, to where there is no confusion, and we, we make it as simple as possible. But my laptop, I could log into it from anywhere. Just yeah, as soon as I got internet. You can go to Florida. New Orleans. That's there, you, there you go. There you <laughs> That's go. where he goes, New Orleans. I go to Florida. There you go. <laughs> I've got a brother in Destin. Uh, he retired. He's retired Air Force. And uh, he's got a guest house in his condo. So that's where, that's where I go. Nice. That's where you'll find me. And that's another good thing, too, is we've got such a large support staff. You know, if you were to hire your own IT guy, you'd worry about vacation. You know, what if something goes down and he's out of town or he's sick? You don't have to worry about that. Uh, we've got the staff to support you, and that's just a non-issue. Well, all that is that you have access to it from anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the amphitheater, back yeah. Yeah, yeah. They can easily pull up a laptop and log on. Yep. Easy cheesy, as long as you got internet. That's all you need. And it does a really, our VPN incline's really small. Um, it doesn't even have to be really good internet, just like decent, and you'll be fine. Well, you're good out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I've given him a paper copy of the quote. Um, I'll put her name on it, but you know, it doesn't matter. Anybody could really sign it if y'all wanted to. As long as she forward. pays for it, I'm fine. Payroll deduction. She was nice enough to stop by our booth uh, at the KLC Expo. Uh, so that, that's how we met. Uh, we met a whole lot of other city governments. Um, so that was fun. We'll be there every year now. So. I hate to disappoint you, but she stopped at everybody's booth. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> this is her first time. She stopped at everybody. That's great. That's great. Following him around, so that's she fun. she went twice. She went around it twice. That's fun. That's I fun. know. It's great. That's great. She had a ball. All right. So that's it. Any other questions? Yes, probably, but not right now. Okay. <laughs> I know how this goes. Cause I'm, I'm available. Um, I've got a couple of cards no, here. Sorry. I wrote Thank you number down. You, uh, you can call me, email me if you got any other questions. Uh, you know, we can schedule another call. I don't mind to come up here again. It's not that very far uh, from where I live. It's not a big deal at all. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Shall we have anything? Our caterer is not available any longer. Same one. Hmm? Is she not doing it anymore? She's had another spell.
Recently? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they're not open on Mondays. Year? We'd have to do it on a different night. We didn't. Was there last it was Larry last year. Was Did they cater last year? Uh, yeah. I don't know. No, we, we went, went to IDK. We, we went there. Yeah. But it wasn't on a Monday, was it? I know that. I don't, I don't know. remember. I don't remember. Does Barb do catering? Full thing? I, I think so. I didn't know if she still did. I, I she used to. Yeah, and I know that she has events and stuff at the bed and breakfast. Well, we enough room there. That's what I was going to say. I didn't know, but here. Yeah. That's what we was aiming to have Susan. She was just going to do the whole thing right here. Yeah. Moonlight caters. Moonlight caters. But I want something where they're going to come take care of it. I do not want oh, right, right. Amy right. and Elisa and Shelby well, <laughs> cleaning up. After. Greg Giller could come, and he could, you guys can have that same members, like the president, and, you know, I know they do that for the Farm City Center and stuff like that, so that's an option. I could get in contact with him about it. Mm-hmm. Y'all okay with somebody? Figure out a date, and then I could go from there. So. Just not December the 8th or? 3rd. Or 4th. Well, that's I can't s- be at the one at the 4th. I'm going to be in Louisville. I just saw that this afternoon when I was reading this. So I apologize. Fourteenth is another one because that's a Wednesday. We want to do it on a Wednesday night anyway. Okay. My, uh, we were shooting for the six is what we were shooting for <coughs> with Susan, but I don't. Know. Their dates may not. Don't you think most people would rather do it here? Oh, yeah. A lot yeah. more room. And Again, though, I just want somebody to bring it, set it up, and when it's over with, clean it up. And I don't want any of ours have to do it. Mike? Is he okay with that price? Yes. Give me that form of motion. Yes. I'll make a motion to go ahead and sell it to Steve Eckler. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, sign. And that motion passes. Are you done? David? Uh, the projected completion date on the fire truck is December 19th. How long does it usually take to, once you advertise a surplus, to get it gone? Or well, we know, don't want to get rid of it until the new one gets here. That's why. Correct. correct. Is no, we, we can shoot. We can shoot with uh, the trucks can be pushed back. We're probably going to get to January one. That's time with it. So oh, we, we, we can go ahead and start the process of taking pictures, get the truck cleaned up, 
get everything lined up and put on good deals. That's what we're going to put it. And we can start it uh, two weeks or three weeks prior to January 1 and end, end the sale at January 1. That's why I was asking if we need to do it tonight or would we be better off waiting until December meeting to do yeah, this? Well, probably need to get things rolling now. Okay, that's that's why I was asking about a time frame as far as. service until we actually list it. So we can declare it surplus and it's still be in service. We just can't keep it service once it's sold. <laughs> well, that's why I, said, I don't want to. I don't want to put it on dev deals and somebody buy it the next day and here we sit. The majority of the truck is put together. Bodies on it, boxes put on it. There, there's a lot of stages at this point. Of course, oh. once they finish, it'll be. Do you need me to go? Do, do you need me to go? Sure. <laughs> and then at that point, it'll be where's that? Florida. Florida. <laughs> what, what, what part of Florida? Uh, Bradenton. I noticed in the minutes it said the projected end date is November the 28th. You got pushed back. So it's, that's what I was asking. So that's what I was wondering with the talking about. I'd say with Christmas and everything going on, you won't get it before for after think, first of January. Yeah. Do they deliver it or do we have to go get it? Um, they should deliver it. There's an option there. You can, we can get it driving up or we can have it delivered. I personally am a fan of them delivering it. The simple fact that it's, it's not on the road, it's not us driving it, it's on their transportation, they're transporting it to mm -hmm. us. I think it, that's my opinion. I just think it's a safe way about it. Was it purchased, not purchased that way to be delivered here? I'm thinking it was. I think we talked about it. all been in the big packet. Yeah. Yeah. So I make a motion we may start the process of just, getting ready to beat it out. We just might have to make a motion to surplus the old one. And surplus it. Second. Can you get Shelby all the numbers she needs to put in the minutes with the truck? Okay, we have a motion to second any further discussion. So if I ever seen if I die, uh, post same. Motion passes. Yeah. You have anything? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I, mean, I understand. It's a little on the loud side. Okay, now the, what you've cleaned up already is on would be on the south side of Bruce School. Uh, back up to Bruce School. Okay. 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 So it's already cleaned up and finished. Yes. Okay. And you're talking about property across the road. No, sorry. You're talking about the other property across the street from that. Up the street. Up the street. What kind of time frame is on it right now? When was the first done? First NOV violation? On the current one? On the one, on the piece she's talking about, yeah. Um, I'd have to look in the files on the jury that day. The one that she's on right now was the citation. Do you remember that? That was the citation was received in September, right? That means that it had been a while. Well, what's what's how's everything stand right now? It's out of date, so it's just a matter of. Yeah, it's just I have it. I live in Orangeburg, so I'm trying to go back and forth. I'll, I'll, our two three people to do this whole thing, but I just didn't do it. And so now I'm trying to come back and forth. And, and, 
get some money from North Carolina and some money over here to help with this. We got to, I mean, we got to start. Mm -hmm. Well, right now the citation's already been in effect, correct? So, regard—I mean, regardless of if it was done now, it's still a citation on it, right? I wish AV was here to yeah, so we know to guide us a little bit, our attorney. Uh, I feel like we need to wait and get his. A.B. Conway's our city attorney, and he's normally at these meetings, and tonight he just, Larry, somebody called just a while ago and had something come up, and he's not made it back to Louisville, from Louisville yet, so let, let me, let's talk, let's talk to him, and then we'll get back with you, because like I said, right now it's not going to make any difference if it's not cleaned up, it's still not cleaned up, so uh, we'll go from there. All right. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you're making the effort. Thank you very much for that, by the way. <laughs> Ray, you have anything? What did you find out about the cafe? Or the parking lot behind the cafe? He never misses me back. Okay. Well, you it's getting ready. Yeah, that's what uh -huh. he said. And it's getting ready to be nasty season again and lots of stuff going on. Downtown. We've been, We've been waiting on him since what, July? Yeah. August? Yeah. Because we had to rush to do that one drain. Yeah. Is this paving it or is this what? Concrete. Concrete. Mm -hmm. Any, how we thought it'd be quicker. Moving along a little more. Concrete. Huh? Do how Hollis. How do we get him moving along a little more? Hollis. Should have been done then. I don't know. He's working very fast. He's I mean, he's, he's just over the, the only thing we can do is try to find a different contractor. I think he's, he's that good. He's that busy. Yeah. So. Well, reach out to him tomorrow and maybe call. I don't know. Does he respond to calls or is he. I, I yeah. prefer text. He might. Let me, let me send it to him again. Okay. See if he answers since it's night time. Because I, I, I wish that had already been done. And I, I kind of dropped the ball on that, of not asking you. Well, no, we've been, <laughs> trust me, I've been asking. You've been, okay. Since October 25th is when I've been, because we was waiting on bigger staff to reset the pens when mm -hmm. we get them, the water lines in. So, first of October, we got done. So, October 25th is, is when we started you know, trying to move things along. So. Okay. And I think that, that that's all. <laughs> Sorry. We may need some more gravel in there because I don't want people getting do out in mud puddles. We're going to have to do some dressing like that earlier. Yeah. I should have done a day for rain and hence the night, but we'll. It's probably going to need some gravel anyway before the concrete's put in. I mean, I know they'll be rain. Everybody knows that we've talked. There on First Street where Pond's Water, he's just going to, I, mean, I had to put like a V shaped crawl mm -hmm. and send the water to the collection box where we build this church. Yeah. So there shouldn't be no water standing when we're done. That'd be good. Cost a few extra dollars to do that in the right. Yeah, because that's a nasty parking lot. Yep. Okay. Well, since we got the we're, pickleball is wanting a structure built down there, and I don't think we're paying for it. Yeah, I think they're, they're paying it's, for it's, it's it. It's donated. It's donated, but they want to put it. If you get asked, they want to put it on the court, on the edge of the court. To do that, they'll have to drill a hole through the blacktop and pour concrete to do it, and I don't want them doing that. And I've been pretty emphatic about it. I do not want it on the court. So if you get asked and somebody says something, you can say Kevin said. Kevin's the bad guy. And I'm the bad guy. Would that not take up space that they need? They want to put a, a, a overhang so people can sit in the shade, which is fine. Oh, I understand okay. that. But if we have to drill a hole in the blacktop, we just paved that. Yeah. And like Larry said, they just, and I've got pictures of it, they just had all those tents and those covers, every one of them tore pieces this past weekend with that wind, or the weekend before last. And if that was to a big wind come and jerk that, it would pull blacktop and all right out of the ground. And I don't I don't want to tear up what we've already got. We've done a, we've got a lot of compliments on what we've got down there and I don't want it ruined. No offense to them. I want I want them to have what they 
what they can get, especially this is free mm -hmm. for them. And I, I do want them to have it, but you I know, thought it was a storage just, building they were going to build. That's what I thought too. But I got after I talked to Larry today, and I contacted Mike afterwards. It's not a storage mm -hmm. building. It's just a, basically a shaded area. It's uh, probably a ten by twenty. Like it's a dugout out. kind of thing. Yeah, just a dugout kind of thing where they can sit in the shade. Well, you don't have to be on the court to sit in the shade. You can sit outside the court. I mean, I hate it for them, but I just don't think it. If we ever wanted to have a tournament, we couldn't put bleachers in that spot. We'd need to, you know, and, and there's different things we'd, we'd have to do. And I just don't want to, I'd rather have it outside the court and affecting it that way. So. Hmm? Oh boy, that's good. All right. But that's all I've got. I really don't, I don't have anything I don't have other than that. All right. I've got one thing. I gave you all drawings. We've been oh, yeah, talking yeah. about the, Bridge. This is on 231 down by the railroad track with some of the, it'd be some of the ARPA funds. We're looking, the whole thing should come in. Larry, any idea on the railing? On the cost? Um, like. Are we, are we building it? Well, I appeared we would. Metal is so volatile right now. Yeah, it's high. I mean, whatever price I get today be no, no, I know, but do you remember what this was down here? I don't. Is it going to be on both sides of the road or yeah. just one? It would be both sides of the road. We've already got the proof from the state. All I got to do is fill out the permit. And we're talking about stuff we're trying to do as far as p tourism and people coming into town and uh, beautification and dressing up. And I just think that would be a huge change. And is there a nice. cost estimate on this? Brickworks of about thirteen thousand dollars. And you don't know about the other stuff. I have to do price on that. I'll steal. I would be too, because he'd probably, like you say, it change tomorrow. I mean, it would look, make it look better down there. I think it would make mm -hmm. a huge difference. Do you have any length on it? Oh, you did, didn't you? I think they're on the on the. On the second sheet when they're length. I ain't got my glasses on. My poor eyes can't read it. Well, I can't either. That's bad. You're the youngest one in the Yeah, I got a name fine glass. Oh, I, I do. I don't know that it has a... Turn on your camera. Yeah. I don't know that it has a dimension on this drawing. I've got one that does. If you send it to me tomorrow. I want to say it's about 35 foot. Because I think all those are about 7 foot long. 6 or 7 foot. Say how it is, it is. Well, that is good to know for old guys. <laughs> I just think it would tie in with everything else yeah. we're doing down there. Yeah, it's there's no dimension on there. Oh, okay. It says one inch or something. Well, I've got it. Like I've got another drawing that goes with it. I just printed out these because it kind of get the detail and then the, the drawing. I can read something that says top of something, but I can't tell what that's top of. <laughs> if you send me the drawing with the measurements, then I know exactly what's still the, the length of the seal. I guess they're going to go ahead and order it. Well, if they approve it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Do we need to go ahead, without knowing the price, should we just go ahead and say go ahead and do it? Or? I don't think it'll be. I mean, like I said, we've got the funding to cover it. I'm fine with it. I don't have a problem. What about you, Sandy? What do you no, think? No, I'm good. I think it's wonderful. I do, too. Michael will require it. You were talking to him. Okay. He's the one who gave me the estimate on it. And I think that's going to be on the high side, because I think he, he was talking about using the veneer but i think on the and again it's not on this one but the drawing i've got i think the state's approved the full brick i don't think i'd like the veneer i think the brick would be a lot better, I like brick better. Yeah. he just said the veneer was well, more expensive to install really? and probably not much more because we've got brick veneer we're doing some work at the house and with the brick veneer let me tell you stuff's not cheap 
Yeah. Well, the real, and I think he was thinking about ease and uh, weight, but I've got the approvals because I said we had this design, the RBS designed this. Uh, Jeremiah did before he left over there. And it's been to, Frank, uh, to Frankfurt and they've approved it all. Because I got approval ahead of time, even if we didn't do it, just because I didn't want to go to a lot of time and effort if they were going to look at it and say no. They did what? Yeah. Water district. Water district. And you know, with the bids going back in, projected for or something thousand, come back one point eight million. Oh. It was way less. Way less. As far as the far left field, they won't be built. Four hundred. And that was that was their estimate. Hmm. Well, y'all watch. I'm yeah, not saying he's going like to make it. a motion. No. <laughs> I, I make a motion. We proceed with getting this done. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Where's this bridge? What is it? On, on Main Street. Crosswalk, or not crosswalk, Between the railroad the, tracks on each side of the railroad tracks. Beaver Dam Mill Supply on the railroad tracks. Oh, can it's I got show the old, this? Oh, I don't care. It's got the old concrete abutment, and it's got that gray pipe. Oh, yeah. See, this mm -hmm. will look like that. Oh, okay. That's on nice. On each side. Yeah. It's just a beautification thing. Okay. Trying to match it up with what other stuff we've done now. Yeah, I I I'm sorry, I wasn't even <laughs> thinking about that. Do you want to? Motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor of the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Okay, I think that's all I've got. Do you? I'm thinking, well, we're going to, I guess we need to meet with pickleball and. Yeah, I'll get Mike to come over here one day this week or maybe next week and we'll. Because okay. we, we're not going to. There's no problem with them building. I have no problem with them building. I do not want them building on that court. Well, I, I just think that the commission may need to go ahead and just approve it, even though there's no funds coming from us because somebody's donating all the material that you're going to build for them. I just don't want to hold them up and. Oh, okay. Go ahead and approve it. Well, then I make a motion they go ahead and can build it. For providing. We're providing. Yeah. With provisions. Yes. Okay. Make that so motion. We have a motion. And a second. A second. Yeah, a second. <laughs> Two of our members were out of town, so or one out of town and one in the hospital. So. We were out of town the last time. Yeah, me and you were out of town last time. He was in Florida. I was having surgery. <laughs> well, I got one in Florida and one having surgery yeah. today too. Just the opposite. I'm gonna stay away from you people unless nice. I go to Florida. I got have surgery tomorrow, so I ain't worried about it. Geriatric. <sighs> okay, those are favorite singers by the eye. Aye. Post same. Motion passes. Does anybody have anything else? Go in closed session or anything? Everything good? Knock on wood. I make a motion that we are adjourned. Second. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? I can't. I feel I like there are two. I need to whisper. I can't, can't sleep at night without an hour closed session. I'm telling you. <laughs> I can't. When was the last time we did go into closed session? Y'all can't blame me for this one. You're going to keep all these. Don't you step in there. Meeting adjourned. Yeah, there's that. I appreciate you, Justin. Hey, thank you very much. We appreciate it. And